the f was that? Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn English with Top Gun Maverick. Let's begin. You son of a bitch! Hey, come on! I'm cool, I'm cool. Hey, 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 hey. That's hey. enough. He's not cut out for this mission. It's enough. You know it. You son of a bitch! Hey, come on! I'm cool, I'm cool. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough. He's not cut out for this mission. It's enough. You know it. The phrase to be cut out for something means to have the necessary qualities and skills for a particular task, role, or activity. This phrase is often used in questions or negative forms. Examples She attempted ballet but quickly realized she wasn't cut out for it. Is he cut out for a leadership position? You must be in a lot of trouble. No way you'd come back here willingly. Well, we'll start it out. You must be in a lot of trouble. No way you'd come back here willingly. Well, we'll start it out. The phrasal verb sort something out means to successfully deal with or manage a situation or problem. It's important to note that this is a separable phrasal verb. Now, here are a couple of examples. I need to sort out this plumbing problem before it gets worse. He quickly sorted out the misunderstanding with his colleague. You see me now? Come on, let's get it over with. Fight's on! You see me now? Come on, let's get it over with. Fight's on! The phrasal verb get something over with means to complete or finish something like a task or duty that you don't like but have to do so that you don't have to worry about it anymore in the future. Examples I have to make that phone call and get it over with. I have a big test tomorrow, and I just want to get it over with. Enough. Damn it! That's a kill. Not enough. Damn it! The phrasal verb knock off has multiple meanings depending on the context, including to stop working, to steal something, etc. However, knock it off is an idiom used to ask someone to stop doing something that is annoying. Examples Hey, you too, knock it off. Your constant arguing is driving everyone crazy. Enough with the complaining. Knock it off and find a solution. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you, sir. Wasn't a compliment. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you, sir. Wasn't a compliment. The verb precede means to go somewhere before someone else. So, when someone says your reputation precedes you, it means that they have heard things about you before they meet you. This phrase is usually used when you are meeting someone for the first time. A compliment is a kind remark given to someone to show admiration, praise, 
or approval. It is a way of acknowledging someone's positive qualities, achievements, or actions. Examples She gave me a lovely compliment on my singing voice. I received a compliment from my boss for my exceptional work on the project. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. You were a Top Gun instructor before. That was almost 30 years ago. I lasted two months. It's not where I belong. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. You were a Top Gun instructor before. That was almost 30 years ago. I lasted two months. It's not where I belong. The phrase with all due respect is often used as a polite way to express disagreement or to criticize someone's viewpoint. This phrase is an idiom that is commonly used in formal situations. Examples With all due respect, that's not entirely accurate. With all due respect, I must disagree with your proposed solution to the problem. Escort this man off the base. Take him to his quarters. Wait with him while he packs his gear. I want him on the road to North Island within the hour. Escort this man off the base. Take him to his quarters. Wait with him while he packs his gear. I want him on the road to North Island within the hour. Gear can refer to clothing, equipment, or tools used for a particular activity. Here is an example. I packed my camping gear, including a tent, sleeping bag, and a camping backpack. Quarters is a plural noun that refers to the places where people live, especially in a military or institutional setting. Don't worry about it. I insist. Thank you, Captain. Consider your tab closed. Don't worry about it. I insist. Thank you, Captain. Consider your tab closed. A tab is a record of the things you have ordered or used in a bar or restaurant, but have not yet paid for. It can also refer to the money that you owe. Examples Can you put this drink on my tab? He closed his tab and left a tip for the bartender before heading out. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Goodbye and take care.